Hey guys, it's Nurse Gwenny. Let's talk about my favorite drug to give, magnesium sulfate. Mag is the ultimate chillax medication. It's got so much utility because it's able to relax those involuntary muscles, those smooth muscles. For instance, we use it in our respiratory distress patients like an asthma exacerbation to help relax those bronchioles that are angry and constricted, which improves the ventilatory status of those patients, allowing them to move air in and out. We use it on our patients that are contracting their uterus too early, so a preterm labor patient. We can help to uh, end that preterm contraction with that magnesium that relaxes the uterus. Heck, we give it in the ER all the time to constipated patients to help relax that GI tract and allow those patients to pass that stool. Magnesium is a fantastic medication, but we need to monitor those patients closely. We never just give this by gravity. We always put it on our pump because we don't want to dump it on them too quickly because remember our desired therapeutic effect is a relaxation of those muscles but one of this one of the side effects might be that we could knock out our patient's respiratory drive so anytime I've got a patient on mag I always put them on capnography so that I will see early on if their respiratory rate starts to drop because that SpO2 probe that's news from two minutes ago we need breath to breath updated data. Now, if you do notice that your patient is in magnesium toxicity, what are we going to do about it? Number one, we're going to stop the magnesium drip. If you've got them on a drip following that initial bolus. In addition, you can consider calcium. Calcium will help to reverse the magnesium toxicity and restore your patient's deep tendon reflexes. That's the one they're going to ask you about on the test. But in reality, we want to restore their respiratory rate and their mental status. 